for having me on. Um, I'm outside today enjoying this beautiful weather. A uh, little bit overcast, but we have a large pavilion that I'm sitting under. So we stay nice and dry, even if there's a little bit of drizzle. So do I see a lake back there? That's Lake Erie, is it? That is, yeah. We are right, literally right on the, on the lake. Looking straight across would be Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, we do have a nice view of Peely Island as well. And the North Bass Island, you can see quite clearly. Uh, even the Admiral Perry's Monument. Often we can see the little spire in the distance. So our U.S. neighbors are across the pond, but we can actually visualize a lot of it. That's very cool. Well, and what I find interesting about Epic Wine Region is um, the diversity of the landscape. Uh, there are places that are just on the on the lake, like you are. There's some that have, have uh, beautiful beaches, and uh, you're just surrounded by all the good things in life: the water the vineyards, the winery, great food, and you have a restaurant on site, do you? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we actually have three vineyard sites, the one on our retail property, uh, which was planted in 99, and then we expanded across the street. It's kind of hidden in a back area right near um, a large uh, bush reserve actually and then down the road at the owner's property is uh, the original vineyard that we planted in 2000 uh, and that crosses the Colchester Ridge which is a, a small land feature but for anybody from Essex County it's the most difficult hill to climb along County Road 50 on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of elevation change and it actually makes for slightly different tasting wine from that vineyard which we call Walnut Grove versus the vineyard at our winery proper. Well let's talk wines let's just jump right into it um, we have three of your wines uh, featured in our epic party packs one we our lips are sealed as to which one it is because it's the surprise party pack right. uh, but we can at least say it's a one of the white wines um, and then one of the other wines that we've selected is a really neat grape variety called Auxerrois. Um, and that is in the white party pack. So for our viewers right. who don't know anything about that wine, enlighten us. Yeah, Auxerrois or Auxerrois, uh, pronounced both ways. This is a white grape variety. It is Vitis vinifera, originally from the Alsace region, which is on the border with France and Germany. So the, hence the different pronunciations. Generally, when they grow in France, uh, it is blended into a white blend and you wouldn't ever really taste it on its own. Uh, our winemaker kind of selected it out of obscurity for its unique quality, attempted planting it here and it took off really well. It has, uh, we put orange on the label to signify a peach. So it's kind of an orchard fruit flavor to it. And uh, we do it a touch of sweetness. So about uh, between 12 and 15 grams residual sugar, which is still on the dry side. But that little bit of sweetness gives it a really nice mouth feel. Uh, this one has that really uh, almost thick quality to it, even though it is a white wine and it is on the lighter side of alcohol, but about 12 and a half percent. So very easy, uh, great sipping wine, great as a, a before dinner. Uh, but it can carry through on certain meals as well because of the slight sweetness. It pairs really well with Asian or spicy dishes as well. So if I were to come to your place uh, tonight for dinner um, or to the restaurant, what would you suggest that we have specifically with that? Well, uh, we, we offer mostly lunch and our fish tacos are quite good and that will go really well. Um, we serve all of our wines uh, out of keg. So you're tasting the newest version of the wine. Right now we have a 2018 Oxidois is on our keg. Uh, similar with our red wines, we have a Cab Merlot and we have our Big Bluff Red. What you can purchase in the retail has been bottled. So it's a later, or it's a, was bottled earlier. And what you can taste in the keg is the brand new that will be bottled in coming years. So you get a little bit of both do a wine tasting, but then also taste our patio wines. Uh, like I said, the I've fish tacos. I've never heard anything like that. That's great. great. Uh, yeah. Well, we're, we're trying it out and uh, it works really well. It's easy for us to put them into the kegs, especially before we have a chance. We don't have bottling on site, so we do mobile bottling. So before we have a chance to bottle it, it's a great way to get our customers to taste it. Uh, another food option I'd suggest, we have a lot of appetizer styles. And I just taste tested the other day, jalapeno popper cups. So it's <laughs> cream cheese, bacon, a little bit of pickled jalapeno. It to me, it tasted exactly like a little pizza, but it's just in a little bite. So you don't feel as bad about eating all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so 
That was like a real food friendly wine. And uh, I just find it fascinating to hear the story about Oxawa and then also to see uh, that grape variety grown in your area um, because it's not grown very much at all anywhere in, in Ontario. So it's a real great find. Now talking about finds, the other one that we have featured is in our Rosé Party Pack mm -hmm. and it has a great story. 18A or old 18A Rosé. So I'm going to leave it to you to tell the story. Right. Uh, a lot of our labeling we're trying to maybe uh, recognize uh, oral history. So the old 18A that was the name of Canyard 50 that our winery and many epic wineries are located on. That was the name of the road back uh, before they changed, amalgamated into counties and changed it to Canyard 50. There are many residents of this area that still call it the 18A Highway. Uh, the highway that runs through Harrow is the 18 and the highway that runs along the lake is the 18A. Even before that, it was known as the Lake Road. So this is a way for us to kind of capture that, that history uh, through a label. So what I did, I drove down the road and I took some pictures and brought it to my, my marketing agency who then stylized it into a label. Uh, this is the first, the Rosé. And I've actually got two other labels that are gonna be coming out hopefully as soon as I get around to that bottling, a Chardonnay and a Cabernet version. Again, I went and took pictures. Actually, this time I used Google Maps to help me out to kind of get a good sense of what the road looked like to capture it into a label. Uh, this rosé is an interesting blend. It's actually uh, not Vita Sinifera. It is a hybrid grape variety that was designed to grow in Essex County. Uh, some of the other wineries in this region do grow this grape as well. We call them the Harrowgraft grapes. They don't actually have a, a name just yet, but we know them as the Harrowgraft. So we blended three grape varieties from that, HG1, HG3, and HG4, to make this rosé. So they are red grapes that we uh, crush and pressed the, off the juice and just fermented the juice to make this true rosé style. And our 18A rosé is dry. So it's like a true French rosé. Um, so no residual sugar, but lots just popping with fruit. Uh, I like to describe it as strawberry fruit. And it sounds like a very food friendly wine. What kind of uh, food would you have with that one? Well, this, Actually, I did manage to pour myself a little cup here. It's perfect for this kind of weather, just sitting out and enjoying sipping. Um, I have, I, because it's not a recognized grape variety, there's not a lot of history. I'm not, there's not a lot of people who have, or you can't look in the books and say, well, what does this wine generally pair with? Uh, so I challenge anybody who buys the bottle to please send me what your pairing was. And if it was a thumbs up or thumbs down, because this wine sometimes does not go with the food that we tried it with, but it's also good to know. You have to know yeah. what works and what doesn't work. Uh, so I'm still exploring. I'm still trying to find out what works best with this wine. Like I said, it's, it's my go-to afternoon sipper. Did you say go-to afternoon Friday sipper? I think so. Yes. Yes. I'm sure you said -E Friday. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we are so delighted to be working with you again this year, uh, doing these epic party packs and, and uh, bringing epic wine region to our customers all over the province. So thank you and keep up the great work making fantastic wines and uh, having a beautiful place to enjoy them. Thanks a lot, Debbie. I appreciate your support. And we love when everybody looks to Ontario wines first. That's that's. Our passion is to create wine and we want everybody in Ontario to enjoy them. I agree. Couldn't have said it better. Thanks again and have Thanks a great a weekend. Bye.